2015 was a monumental year for, for Toyota. Obviously, you know, what, what Kyle did transcends sports. It's not a motorsport story, it's a sports story. It's a story about resilience and determination. That year, Daytona, Kyle Busch, horrific wreck. He was able to come back and worked as hard as he did to come back. All of us having things ready when he did come back. And then to perform the way he did for the rest of that year, it was kind of a storybook year. Homestead is such a mental race, let alone the physicality of it because of being in a race car, but the mental aspect of it. And it's the week's preparation getting up to it. And then you get to the weekend, you get through practice and the nerves of practice and not crashing the car. And then you get through qualifying, trying to qualify up front. I think we qualified fifth. In the final race of 2015, the green flag is in the air. Getting into the race that night, we were fifth place car and top five car the whole race long. And then as the track got a little bit more dark, it seemed like we were kind of catching up a little bit. We were getting a little bit faster as the lights turned on, the temperature started going down. But the whole time, I'm still trying to think, keep focused, keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Don't let the excitement or anything kind of get to you. So during part of the race, I actually started singing children's songs from Brexton and the TV shows that he was watching to just kind of like release my mind into thinking about what could happen and putting myself back into what I was doing. And then we had the final caution that came out with 11 to go, 12 to go, something like that. And I'm like, oh, of course. You've got to go through the agony of coming down pit road and the pressure on the pit crew and will they perform. And my guys did an amazing job. They gave me a great pit stop. They got me out of the pits first. I remember getting a good restart, getting down to turn one and just never lifting and just blitzing around the outside of Brad and getting to the back stretch and hearing the words clear from Tony and thinking, okay, idiot, 10 more. I don't remember breathing. I'm sure I was breathing, but I don't remember breathing. And I remember just coming through three and four on the final lap of the race. And finally this, this tear rolled down my cheek and my mind had already, I guess, gone there. My emotions had already gone there. Here he comes off the end of the back straightaway for the final time. Kyle Busch steers his Toyota Camry to the bottom of the racetrack, looking for some serious hardware in Homestead. The win goes to Kyle Busch. The championship goes to Kyle Busch. He has done it here in Homestead Miami Speedway. Kyle Busch is the 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion. Taking the checkered flag and thinking, finally been able to win a championship at the top echelon of NASCAR. And to do it with my son being born, he was nine months old at the time, my wife being there, my family being there, all the sponsors being there, everybody that has pulled through so much over the years for me and my family that um, I'd finally been able to reward everyone that was a part of that team. And it's just been an amazing ride since then. That night in Homestead is still just surreal. It's just so surreal. You know, walking out of that coach and walking to Victory Lane, that championship stage, I get emotional just thinking about it. starts with somehow being able to build this incredible partnership alliance between Joe Gibbs Racing and French Row Racing. And Martin Truex was, was with one of our founding teams previously in, in Michael Walter Racing. That story didn't end well. Fast forward to 2017 and his championship with Toyota, very emotional in, in its own right because of the journey that we had been on together, that we had gone on together. I love Martin Trix. He's genuine. He's authentic. He loves TRD. Our team members at TRD in Costa Mesa, North Carolina, they love Martin Truex because I'll say hands down of all of our drivers, he's the one never to forget about this organization. And for us, that instills a level of loyalty that you can't buy. The first Monster Energy trophy ever made we got that's the top of the heap. That's as high as you can get. There was plenty of days when I didn't think it would ever maybe be possible. I remember taking the white flag and thinking, I got it.
the best team all year long can now celebrate a championship. I was perfectly fine and just focused and almost inhuman <laughs> for like a lap. And I seen the checker flag and literally just fell apart and felt like a three-year-old. You know what I mean? I just, I couldn't control my emotions. I didn't know what to say. I don't even know what I said on the radio. I was mumbling something and screaming and I was crying like a little girl, you know? It's like, it was pretty embarrassing, but at the same time, it was crazy how fast you can go from 100% focused on exactly what you need to do. And then in three seconds, it can all fall apart. But yeah, that last lap was pretty crazy how the emotions changed. Obviously one of my proudest moments just because of the way the whole last run went and, and being able to keep my composure and, and hold it all together and perform. The excitement that you could feel through everybody was incredible. It was so awesome to have that camaraderie and just that spirit come out of everyone and, and to see how much it meant to everybody on the team. That's what it's all about. That's what we, we all race for. Just the passion, the will to win and the, the hard work that gets put in. Nothing is sweeter than winning as a team.